I think it's the right result, to be honest. Um, but of course, we, after giving the 1 0 pretty much away, with all the quality Brighton has, with all the good things they do, they didn't create a lot in the first half. With the goal we scored, uh, with the goal we conceded, yeah, we served on the plate pretty much. Um, we found better in the game, obviously, scored our two goals. Um, second half should have scored maybe the third one. Um, I think it two massive chances. But then we lost too many 1 1 situations, whichever structure you choose. If you lose them, Mitoma going everywhere. So, like, um, that when we gave all these kind of set pieces away, uh, that keeps the game really open. Crying out! I can add to it. I mean, oh. I'm, you know me, Dion. That's one of the things that frustrates so I'm me. So, I'm thinking you to a shade the generation yeah. you've oh, played in. It frustrates me the most. Taking chances <laughs> in bad areas of the field. However, yeah. Yeah. that was an advert of why they do it at times because. Mm. If the finishing was better on two or three occasions, we could have seen the yes, most magnificent yes. goals <laughs> yes, from playing yes. out from the back, playing through the thirds, back to front, crosses going in. But Gravenberg missed a chance. Mm. I think yeah. Toma may have missed a chance. Pedro, Joe Pedro missed a chance. Those were wonderful builds mm. up back to front. Yeah. However, if you don't get it right, yeah. Yeah. three of the four goals yep. today came from giving see, the ball yeah. away in bad yep. areas. Well, let's, let's have a look. Let, let's start at the beginning. It's a very good place to start with the very, <laughs> very first goal as well. Now, I, I spoke to Ozzy about this and I said, Ozzy, what about, who's, who's at fault? And he said Virgil van Dijk, and I agree. Not enough Vir weight on the pass. No, it's, it's, the pass is poor, but yes. Virgil can see the whole of the game. Yeah. Yes, maybe he could have stepped onto it, McAllister, but Virgil's at, at fault. It's a really poor, really poor goal to give away. It's a very calm finish, isn't it? Because it's a calm finish. tempted, I think, to lob him maybe or chip him and he's it's just a, threaded it's a it. It's brilliant finish because not only has he, has he finished it well, but... Once you've won the ball, you have a tendency to keep going and then look yeah, for the pass. Yeah. He spotted really early that Allison wasn't mm. backing his goal quick enough. And then not only that, he had the quality to bend it around him. It was a brilliant individual goal. Is there any team better in the Premier League than Liverpool when it comes to counter-attack? When it comes to no, transition no, and no. quickly thinking, we've got the ball now and they flood forward no. at such pace and with such precision? Yeah, we've got lots in the Premier League that can do that. But when they get it back, I mean, look at the front foot. Look at the players getting forward now. Look, they've had it for a second, two seconds going forward. One, two, three. And I know that Elliot would have got a very loud <laughs> shout from Mo Salah to say, leave it or Mo's or mine. Look at this. One, two passes. Yeah. Three passes. Four passes. Yeah. Leave it. Leave it. <laughs> and Mo Salah. It's, it's just... Yeah. <laughs> and look how many players they've got in the box. They're, they're very good at it. They don't waste many of these opportunities. Yeah, poor from Dunk. I mean, not only did he give the ball away, he then came yeah. tearing out, <laughs> yeah. trying to win it yeah. back quickly. And, and look, it's, it's almost a carbon copy away. of what happened with the, with Liverpool giving away the first goal as well, is it? Back to the, oh, that, yeah. that that pass in. I mean, both teams keeper. will have, well will know that not only do they want to play out, but the opposition they're playing against are good on the press. Liverpool are one of the best at pressing teams high up and winning the ball back in. Now, if you do that, then you've got to be right. so precise. You Quite can't afford the mistake For a, for a mistake red like card that. there, Gross. I'm sure he's trying to play the ball if he's grabbing... Yeah, I mean, for, by, like by, the, by the official letter by of the, the law, he's shirt. pulled him back. But was he trying to get round him with that with his leg there as he did? Was I think the right decision was made. I think I think a penalty kick yeah. was enough for that. No red for me. No red for me. I think, no red I think penalty's enough, to be honest with you. And then at this stage, so that's five minutes for half-time, you're thinking, right, Liverpool are going to go... I thought Liverpool would go on a win mm. here. Gravenberg misses that great chance, but here, look how many red shirts there are back there. Static, though. Static yeah. red shirts. Yeah, I trying mean... Trying to hold their line. Gravenberg and Robertson, one of those two players has to stop that ball going in that area. The Liverpool defenders behind it can't do anything about it. They're there to challenge for a high cross that mm. comes in. Anything that's slid into that danger area, it's the guy at the front's position. It's his responsibility to stop, and they don't. Dunk has an easy you, finish. You half want your defenders to take a step closer to the keeper, which is, which is in, the, in, in, oh, in, yes, yes. in the way that the game's uh, coached. You want to leave that gap for the keeper, but in order to make it easier to defend, you want the ball in front of you, not behind you. And that's what Leon's saying. Gravenberg comes back, it's going to hit him on the head. It is Liverpool's defending maybe the one thing that puts a little bit of doubt into your mind about how... I'm still going to say Manchester City come what, whoever it is, <laughs> to give Manchester City a really good run for their money? Is it their defending? Because we can see going forward how good they are still. Yeah, they are still conceding a, a number of goals that if you're going to have a run for the title, you have to be good defensively. You have to limit the opportunities you give 
uh, to opposition teams and at the moment they're conceding too many. But as you said, their attack is looking more of a threat week by week. Yeah, absolutely it is. It's a good point each. OK, uh, we'll keep you up to date with those uh, other games, including Wolves Villa. It's gone 12 minutes into stoppage time. If anything happens there, uh, we'll let you know it's still 1-1. But plenty uh, to review from that game. Let's go right back to the beginning. Um, not a replay that Virgil van Dijk will want to see again. No, not really. Um, both teams are capable of doing this, though, aren't they? Of uh, giving the ball away at the back and, and, uh, and the opposition sort of winning it with a high press. Van Dijk did have options, probably picked the wrong one. And then another defensive mistake, this time by, by Dunk, makes one mistake and then makes a second by chasing into the inside of the pitch. And it was Mo Salah that, that got them back on level terms. And then our goalkeepers again, Sesk? Yeah, I mean, same. They tried to play, you know, from the back. Here they forced it a little bit too much. Uh, but fair play to Liverpool. They, they were searching for it uh, the whole game. They tried from the minute one, you know, to the last one. Chasing for an opportunity like this, and uh, they found both times and they scored both. Mo Salah, no problem. Um, sometimes he does, but he, he dispatches that one away beautifully. I think picks his corner and sticks with it. And Brighton just had to really try and stay in the game, and Liverpool were knocking on the door a lot. This is a big moment in the end. Um, yeah, it was a, a very big moment. I don't think that chance is as as easy as people think it is the way it bounces just before it gets to him, but I think he does the right things apart from putting it in the net. As strikers, do you think he should have one with his right foot? Just uh... Well, I would have, because my left foot was rubbish. <laughs> yeah. no. Do we think that's a free kick? <laughs> no, I, I think it's a bit Very soft. soft. Yeah, Very I soft. think it's a bit soft. He's not going to get on the other end of the ball either, I don't think. Andy Robertson here, Michael? Yeah, well, if it was coming from the other side, Steve, I bet you would have cleared it. He would have, you know, but that's almost coming onto a high right boot or he's got to duck down and head it. But it's almost not his natural side to be defending. And, uh, and yeah, he's got to try to prevent that ball coming what across. What should João Pedro do then? Don't tell me score, but mm -hmm. technique wise. Do I ever say that? <laughs> he's got to try to get over it, stay over it, smother it. You don't need a perfect co uh, contact. You've just got to almost throw your body, you know, go top heavy over the ball to make sure everything stays down. The, 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 as, as soon as you lean back and, and, and when the ball bounces, it's a bit like that chance that we were saying before at the back post. Um, very difficult when it bounces just in front of you, then just got to concentrate on, on uh, smothering it. OK. Did he deny a goal-scoring opportunity, Micah? I think the letter of the law, yes, I think he does. I think if he doesn't pull him back, it's a clear and obvious opportunity. So, by the letter of the law, it should have been a red card day. And the only question, I suppose, is whether they felt he was in full possession of the ball, Jabojlai, whether he's moving away from the goal. Yeah, but he's just about to slide it into the net. <laughs> if he doesn't pull him, what, what, what more evidence do you so need? Gross should have gone, if, if is what you're saying. If shouldn't pull him there, he's tapping it in. People might talk about Dunk running back on the line, but if you look, if you don't touch him, he's just sliding yeah. into an empty net. He's sli it is a, a denial of a clear and honest... Uh, goal stopping opportunity. Half time Without change. Graven Birch comes on, Theo. This would have made it 3 1. Might that have been game set and match? Oh, I, I feel like it would have been. Um, obviously, it's come at him in a lot of pace. It's not his strongest foot. He's coming in at pace as well. It's hard to slow yourself down, but it's, it's, it may look easy, but we run at pace. It's just a lot harder than you think, but yet. Professional footballer probably should be scoring that. <laughs> and of course, that leaves the door open for Brighton, who we know won't go down without a fight. We saw that in Marseille midweek. We've seen it again here today, Mike. Yeah, it's fantastic. I mean, to, to come back. I told you after I need to keep going, and I just did that. But if you just look at Robertson, he just goes with his, his wrong foot, and he can't open up and clear it. If he drops a yard to his right and goes with his right foot, he can clear that. And then a chance for Brighton to win it. Joao Pedro, what do you think, Theo? Yeah, again, this is... Okay. <sighs> You're being too nice, are you? Yeah. It, should be, it should be absolutely you know buried. Like, I know you're in a strikers' union, but come on, right, he, should not, be, he should be scoring. Yeah, that. right. He's not confidence going onto it. He's, he's leaning back. He's doing all the things you, you're taught not to do, and he's done it. Um, but again, you have a bit more time. He's got to expect the ball. He's not expecting the ball. Um, that's the problem. When you're in that position, especially a forward, you need to always expect the ball in any sort of situation. It's a big moment in a big game, and it finishes 2-2. More reaction. Uh, on Sky Sports News and across our digital platforms. But next, we focus on the big game here at the Emirates, where the champions take on the team who ran them very close last season. Oh, Liverpool lead Brighton by two goals to one at the Amex. Highly entertaining first half. Lots to get through. Let's start with Brighton's goal and Liverpool's error, Michael. It was. Um, we expected goals in this one, and we certainly got them. Virgil van Dijk here. 
He's probably at fault, uh, and then I think actually Allison can, can do a little bit better, maybe gets his angles wrong. But we just thought here that Van Dyke had a couple of better options, maybe three or four better options, than putting the ball into midfield into the danger zone. He's got Andy Robertson here at left back. He can go back to Allison. He can either be brave and knock it into Luis Diaz or Mo Salah, but he, I don't know why he decides to go inside, Sass. Well, I think, especially, I'm a little bit surprised as well with McAllister because the way Brighton plays, always trying to look this, pint, this pass inside from the centre back. You know, he was not really ready to receive the ball. He stayed, you know, he stayed standing, and uh, it's, it's. But I agree with you that he has uh, other options better than than to play this pass that was not safe at all. Because you're a centre midfield player, you're looking at, you think you don't really want the ball when there's people all angles. I around. wanted the ball all the time. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I was going to say you picked the wrong man with that example, <laughs> Mike. Because he walked straight into that. With you. I agree with you. Uh, right, that was Liverpool's centre back giving it away. Lewis Dunk, what was he thinking for Liverpool's equaliser? I'm not quite sure because. Normally, Brighton would go back to goal and start again, but for whatever reason, he, he just whips this one round. It doesn't look like it's to anybody, but Liverpool do the right thing and pick up the pieces, and then from then, it's the, the team playing the goal is brilliant, like what El Elliot did there to free it up for Salah, and it's a perfect finish. But as Mo highlighted, Dunk loses the ball there, he makes a mistake, but then he goes chasing and he vacates the space and leaves it open, and I think even here, the ball can go straight into that gap, it doesn't, and it works out. But to get out of the way there and see Salah, it's just great team play all around, that was. Temptation to, to rectify or atone for your error is, is great. And when you make a mistake, you've got to keep a cool head and dunk, plays the ball, gives the ball away, and all of a sudden, right, I've got to get that back for the team and vacates a big hole. Brilliant little dummy from uh, Harvey Elliott as well. And I don't think Mo Salah will uh, have many easier finishes. Coming in on your left foot with half a goal to aim at, it was uh, easy for someone of his... Calibre. So, Tesk, as you say, you always wanted the ball. You played in footballing teams. Where are you with goalkeepers continually playing out? Because Verbruggen already has history this season and he's done it again today. That's, a, that's an interesting one uh, because I think the Zerri must look at the negatives and the positives. He must say, OK, how many points do I get playing this way? How many points do I lose? And obviously, you know, at the end of the day, it must, it must come up to a very, very positive one because they have the result and they... they they are in Europe because of the way they want to play. So but it's yeah. risk and reward here. Yeah, 100 percent. And three, the three of the goals are because of the high press. And this is the way football is going. You know, it try to make mistakes, that try to to make, force errors to to the opponents. And yeah, three three goals are exactly the same: high press, force mistake, and punish the other team. And we think, Michael, just on this, the reason why Pascal Gross didn't get a red card because he was going across the penalty area and it wasn't denying a clear goal scoring opportunity. Yeah. Yeah, I hear that. Uh, he he made no attempt okay to find the ball. I am OK. He's, he's going away from the goal. Yeah, I, I don't mind that one. I don't think it's uh, it's an obvious error. I actually thought, oh, is that offside? Uh, is Nunez offside at the start? But, there's no touch. but when you clearly see it, it's, uh, it comes off uh, gross there. And then again, somebody trying to atone for a bit of an error, pulls the shirt. I don't think there's any question whatsoever that it's a penalty, that there's a shirt pull. I think the goalkeeper probably thinks Mo Salah's going down the middle here. Yeah. Every time he, he's got doubts in big games, he goes uh, down he? the middle, yeah. Absolutely, yeah. yeah. What an eventful first half that was uh, for Brighton, who took the lead and find themselves... To play the ball forward, and you think, don't, can he just go back to his goalkeeper and start again? He makes one mistake by passing it to the wrong player, but then he tries to rush out and make up for his mistake. You see it on the better on... Uh, on this angle, but you was happy with the attacking. Do you know what? I hope always look at the attacking side of it because obviously defensively, yeah, there's a lot of problems. But you know, they're all in a pattern. They all these are sort of patterns of play you what work about in Harvey training. Elliott's decision here not to actually strike it. Well, the fact that Harvey Elliott as well is a left-footed player, and if I'm him, I'm le that's on my left foot. I would like to finish that myself. But it's, the Great fact it's over. a bit bobbly towards him as well, and Salah's coming onto it, and it's yeah, it's fantastic. Goalkeeper involved here, Mike. Yeah? Again, trying to play out, which is fine. We know what Brighton want to do. This is what they do, but. Sometimes you've got to go long, and then Gross pulls him back. It's a, a certain penalty. Can he you have can any see complaints? there's a man coming right behind him. He does no complaints on yeah, that. No. Uh, the AI got it spot on with this decision. But yeah, it was a little bit naive from Brighton, just because he was doing so well in that first half. You see it on that angle there. Pulls him down. Clear as day. Right decision, and who steps up? Yeah, can, Salah, well, yeah. He's, he'd been successful down the middle recently. It looked like Verbruggen was just waiting a little bit. He was waiting, he made his mind up for him, really, essentially. Um, you need to change his, his pattern of penalties. He's done that, Salah, and it's... Do you know what, they've showed great crowd to come back from 1-0 from down, Liverpool. Brighton. Not.
I'm Derek Ray. I'm joined for commentary by former Arsenal fullback Lee Dixon. And without doubt, a match with the potential to bring genuine excitement. It's Luton Town taking on Chelsea. Hi, Derek. Thank you. Well, both managers will be reminding their players how important. Well, it could be on for him here. Is it going to be? Keeper getting the touch. And it's gone behind for the corner. Over it comes. He did his job defensively. And they'll get ready for the throw in. Pearson. So after that, a goal kick it'll be. Well, pick your adjective where Hakim Ziyech is concerned. Explosive, I think, might be in a... Pro Can they take the lead here? And mistimed the run, sadly. That's offside. <laughs> Throw-ins given. This looks promising. Well, it's the care and attention, all that works. And a blunder by the keeper. Werner. Promising attack, but his timing was off. Well, they've lost possession of the ball. Nicely cut out. Oh, that's an interesting pass. Ziyech. In it goes. An early goal. No wonder they're celebrating. Well, as we look at this again, the keeper's every right to ask where his back line was, but 2v1 in the end. He's thinking now, is he going to pass or go round me? He's got no chance. Well, real difficulty keeping the ball. Ball's gone. 